hello and welcome to our channel Frugal Queen in France. My name is Jane, my husband Michael is behind the camera, we're early retirees, debt and mortgage free and we live off our pensions. This week and every Wednesday we share a little chat with you, our midweek money chat. And this week we're going to talk about all the things that we don't buy or don't do at Christmas and it saves us a ton of money. Now supermarkets are not there so you have a jolly Christmas. Supermarkets are there to make money and Christmas is a cash cow for them, isn't it? So I'm going to use the example of the cheese board. I don't buy these cheese boards. I've fallen for it before, I tell you. Even I have fallen for it and I'm not falling for that one again. They take all the cheeses that you like, they cut them into smaller pieces and they put them on a board and call it a cheese board. And do you know what they do? They charge you extra. Not falling for that one again. Crackers. They take different sorts of crackers, don't they? Put them all in one box, call it the Christmas selection box, charge you extra for it. Can you see where I'm going with this? Chocolates, crackers, cheese, all of those things. Supermarkets, I'm not having it. And I don't want you to fall for it either. So buy what you normally buy, but don't fall for these multi-packed Christmas things. Because do you know what they're doing? They're stuffing you for extra money because they're going, oh, they'll fall for this. They'll have the loosey-goosey Christmas attitude to be stuffing it in their trolleys. Well, I'm not falling for that nonsense. Not buying it. So the example of the cheese board, they'll do it with chocolates, crackers, everything else. Don't fall for it. Now, some people love Christmas, don't they? They save up all year. They go crazy at Christmas. They've budgeted for it. They've had a sinking fund for it. They have a lovely time. Good for them, each to their own. Some people work right through Christmas, all those essential workers. It passes them by. Some people aren't bothered at all by Christmas. They just ignore it. And some people, and I think we kind of fit into this category, there are some things about Christmas we do like, and there are some things about Christmas that we don't like and don't do. And those are the bits that we're gonna be sharing with you, that we don't do them because we don't like them. And we really think, in our personal case, they're a bit of a money waster. ones that the supermarkets are trying to stuff you for, aren't they, is Christmas snacks. When did this arrive? When all of a sudden do we need to have a snack tray? When do we need to have itty bitty little individual portions of quiche or nibbly cheesy things? They just Oh, they are honestly trying to fleece me. I'm not falling for that one either. I can make a quiche. If I want a snack, I can make some of those. I'm not falling for that, supermarkets. You might think I am, but I'm not going to. So that's another thing I'm not buying. I am not buying those silly little boxes of Christmas snacks. And mark my word, all the supermarkets will be advertising them that you think you need party food and trays of party food. Do you know what most people do? Cook them, eat them themselves and regret the weight they put on afterwards. I'm not falling for that again. Not falling for that. So, I am not buying trays of snacky Christmas food. Now, have you noticed every year to kind of lure you in and open your bag and take your money, they'll bring out a new theme of Christmas decorations. When did Christmas need a theme? When did Christmas need to be minimalist or Nordic or white or blue or pink? Or do you remember the purple year? There was always a colour, wasn't there? When did it need to be? i tell you what I like about Christmas are those Christmas decorations that the kids made years ago. They're still stuck together with sellotape. Do you know what I like? Is the little cutesy things that we put out on the tree year after year after year and we take them out and go, oh, do you remember those? 
I love them. And if I do buy Christmas decorations, do you know when I buy them? January, right at the end of January when they've really, really, really reduced them. So I'm not falling for that one either. Themed Christmas decorations. The only theme I need is it's Christmas. I'm sticking out the decorations I've got. I like them, I'm not falling for that one. Now something else I don't buy at Christmas is party clothes. I can't, I think the last time I went to a Christmas party, I was a child at school. And yet the advertisers will be banging it out, won't they, that you need to get dressed up for Christmas. Do you know what I like to wear at Christmas? My pajamas. I like to sit around in my pajamas with my dressing gown on, just taking it easy and taking time off. And if you like to sit around in your pajamas, fill your boots, help yourself. So that's another thing I'm not buying at Christmas. I'm not buying new clothes just because it's Christmas. <laughs> now on a serious note, something I don't do anymore, unless it's to my nearest and dearest People like my mum and dad, who really love that Christmas card that says mum and dad on the front of it, is I no longer send Christmas cards. We all have digital forms of communication from whether it's Facebook or how we keep in touch with people anymore. And to be honest with you, nobody liked those round robins where you were boasting about how many cruises you went on anyway. We never liked them. So, we no longer send Christmas cards. They're a waste of money, time, effort, and let's face it, it's a whole heap of paper we don't need to waste. So we don't buy Christmas cards. Now my next point is, and I stopped doing this years ago. In fact, I can't remember when I ever did do it and it's the Christmas work stuff. Is it the Christmas work party? Is it the Christmas work do? All of a sudden we've got to sit around in the staff room and secret Santa at work. All of these things. I opted out. Plenty of people I worked with also opted out. We didn't go to the Christmas party. We didn't go to the work do. Then all of a sudden at work, we've got to go to work in a Christmas jumper. And it goes on and on and on. Do you know what I used to go to work for? To work. I didn't go to work to do Secret Santa or Christmas jumpers or any of those things. So that's something might be a bit controversial. And as I said at the beginning, there are bits and pieces about Christmas that we love, that you might enjoy, but you can opt out of them. So there's something that we opted out of and it saved us tons and tons and tons of money, is all of that Christmas work do, work stuff, Christmas work stuff, we just opted out of it. We didn't do it, we don't do it. thing that we just do not do is we do not give gifts at Christmas to Tom, Dick and Harry. We only give gifts to our closest family members. That means we don't exchange gifts with friends, we don't exchange gifts with neighbours. And here's an example. Once upon a time, quite a long way in the past, I had a lovely neighbour and we were on a chatty and friendly basis. And she caught me unawares one Christmas, she came trotting down the path with a gift for us and another gift for our dog. So guess what? We were then obligated to go and buy her and her husband a gift and their dog a gift. So it's just an example of what can happen. You end up giving gifts to people, you end up thinking of what kind of value or numerical amount do I have to spend on this. So you end up swapping gifts of the same value. So what we did was release ourselves from all the responsibility of giving gifts to, as I said, Tom, Dick and Harry, and we 
only give gifts to our closest family members. Now I think my parting part of my chat with you today is to say that we like Christmas, but we like it on the low key. We don't like to go spending a whole load of money on it and we like to do it our way. We don't like to do it the way that the big marketing people want to kind of convince everybody that we should do it. And I have a question for you. Are there things at Christmas that you draw the line under and say, we're not doing that? Are there things at Christmas you think, well, we're not doing that anymore? Do you opt out of Christmas? all together. I hope you liked our light-hearted take on what we don't buy for Christmas and we don't do at Christmas. If you did, give it a like. If you like our money-saving tips, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification button so you don't miss our videos in the future. Thank you ever so much for dropping by. Come by again to our little corner of Brittany here in northwest France. I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now.